In the remaining time, we're going to go over uh, certain other features that are available in this particular template. Uh, so, uh, just to give you an idea what's possible, uh, what type of things that you're going to be able to do. Uh, so, here we have uh, sort of an unwrapping video with a background, so with this effect. Uh, but in, in this case, you can, you can actually specify where this um, text will be located at, at the top, at the middle, or at the center. So in, if we kind of keep previewing, uh, you can see that the second line will be always reserved for, um, for the position of the text. So T for the uh, top, C for the center, and then uh, B for the bottom, and the text will be at the bottom. Uh, so just, uh, for example, customizing uh, your video in, uh, unwrapping in this manner so we can uh, drag and drop it here select the video that you need to uh, just to make sure keep in mind that uh, for example if you have a video that's four seconds long make sure that your um, layout will also be matching with four seconds long otherwise uh, your video may stop at the end so just keep that little uh, issue in mind. So, but you can also always make uh, the length of the video uh, shorter if you need to. So if you make it longer, then you're gonna have a freeze frame at, at the end. Uh, so the first line will be the, the title. And these are for layouts 11, 12, and 13. The second line will be uh, top, for T, bottom, for B, uh, for B, B for bottom, and then C for center, where the text will be located. Uh, let's say I'd like this one to be in the top. And then uh, you can enter a value of 1 through 5 as far as the speed of the transition, 1 being the slowest and 5 being the fastest. So and it will be the speed of this transition here as the video is being put together. So if you need it slower, you can leave it at one or blank. If you need it faster, you can you can put it at four or five, and it'll be really fast. Uh, so then you have your 3D logo. Well, now with 3D logos, you can you have to actually contact us and send us the logos that we'll uh, process and insert into the system. And uh, currently we price uh, twenty-five dollars per logo insertion, uh, but the logos will have to be in um, that AI format and uh, uh, for us to be able to process it. So just contact us at, at, um, at our support and we'll uh, process the logo and insert it at $25 and you can keep reusing it for uh, as you need to. to customize the logo is a similar way. Click on the logo, select the available ones. You can have multiple ones assigned to your account and they can have a certain animation to it. So let's, let's say in this case, we have a little shimmer and so on. So we can discuss the animation that you need uh, for a little bit of additional price, not too expensive though. So, and you can uh, drag and drop the logo, select it, and you will have the logo customized with the title here. Uh, the second title, uh, the second line is reserved for uh, other options right now that we haven't actually uh, built in yet, but just use the subtitle line to have the, in this particular layout, the subtitle for the logo. <clears throat> All right, moving on, you have, uh, you have the percentage graph icon, uh, percentage graph layout. And in this case, once again, drag and drop it in. Uh, first line is the title of the graph, a graph title. Uh, the second line will be the actual values of the graph separated by commas. So let's say uh, we have 25%, 25%, then we have 10% and 40%. And they don't have to be percentages because the the graph will out, out calculate certain values, but because uh, this is um, actually constrained to the percentages, we advise them to be percentages. So, and then the second line, uh, the second uh, the second amount will be the the actual titles in the graph, and you can you, you can add as many as five values and five titles. So matching values separated by commas. So title one, 
title to and so on. So if if you don't in, insert the if you only insert title one and two, then uh, you'll have four values, but you're not going to have four titles uh, shown. So keep that in mind. So once again, matching values on top using the commas and matching matching uh, titles on the bottom separated by the commas. So this is um, how we do the graphs. Um, here's a uh, pretty straightforward. So you already know how to customize the library videos and so on in your videos. So in this particular uh, 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 instance, you only have one line, which is the title and then the custom videos, photos or your video or library videos. <clears throat> so going down, you, you will have very similar options here. So there is nothing extraordinary. But here's um, where things get a little bit difficult. Uh, I shouldn't say difficult, uh, different. So we have uh, what we call the video effects technology, and uh, this is what we're going to take a look at now. So video effects is really, uh, think of it as a template inside the template, and um, we're going to be adding a lot more options to um, to extend your templates with the video effects technology, but it really can be of anything and any uh, from any features and it's basically a little break in the video to to kind of almost departure from the video style and give you some other options to um, showcase your data or photos and so on. Uh, so you customize it by uh, dragging and dropping into layout and then you have similar options as in 3D objects but in this case you customizing the entire separate scene so think of it as a template within a template. So in this case, um, you'll have your one video line and then the photo. And we'll describe uh, a little bit more in detail for each uh, video effects object. So you drag and drop to customize it. In this case, uh, just put the photo and then uh, the first line. And you're going to have a pretty cool uh, video animation. So once again, we are adding quite a bit more uh, video effects and 3D object options um, in the near future. But for, for now, um, <clears throat> this is what we have available. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, uh, we may have more. So the next option we're going to go over is the multi-video and multi-photo views. Uh, and in this case, it will be uh, 22 through 25. So let's go over the multi-photo view first. And uh, in this case, is number 25 and uh, our first template option. The cool thing, cool thing about this one is that uh, besides the multiple photo views, you, you actually have multiple uh, camera ang angles that you can uh, customize. So that there's going to be multiple uh, camera uh, moves. So you can, if you have more than one stacked up against another, you can have some variety. So in order to customize multi-photo view, just uh, drag and drop it here. The first thing that you should know, you should have enough photos in your bank to customize the images. Otherwise, it will not let you because there's simply not enough um, images in your bank. So, so in this case, the requirement is three images, so you should be fine. You can drag and drop the same one if you need to, but what's the fun in that? So we can actually drag and drag and customize the separate ones. So once, in this case, you need three, and you can say, say you can see that, please to select uh, three images here. So and there you go, this layout is customized. But the cool thing about this layout, so you have your title, and then you can enter, enter the camera one through five. So one, two, three, or five, or four or five, to have different motion of the camera uh, as um, you can uh, approach uh, this multiple um, photo transitions. So the, the good use for this would be, for example, to show different um, view of your product or have a different view of a certain property or um, so any any use that you can think of. So, so 
another version of this is uh, you can see this uh, 20 uh, layers 22 through 24 so and you, you have these uh, title text fly by and then you can um, let's let's see let's see it again so and then multiple uh, uh, photos duplicated in the background so in this case four four different photos in the background so let's drag the view here and you can uh, enter four photos here you can see that they don't really disappear from your image bank on the top when you uh, grab them so the good practice would be if you need these type of layouts to actually customize them first and then uh, arrange them whatever whatever you need to so again your title same goes for the video backgrounds is that uh, in this case you have your video backgrounds and uh, uh, 23 through 24 it's a similar workflow you drag and drop select and uh, choose your video so for example burning objects we'll put and in this case you can be restricted to a certain limit so you have to actually select them until you reach that limit and then click select and in a similar manner you can select your multi video background with your videos in the background um, so uh, the next option is uh, this really cool uh, photo showcase or video showcase with a running line so so in this case um, you have your image or video photo first line to be the title the second line will be the replicated running line that runs on the bottom so this is pretty much it for the uh, template customization in this case and the features that you have so you can uh, later on just go through and adjust the timing appropriately as you need to so so it doesn't drag too too long or so you can um, adjust the timing as you need to and kind of preview the timing as you wish just think of it not too fast but not too slow you don't want your video to drag too much and keep in mind that if your video is too long you you're going to be end up paying extra money anyway so you probably don't want it to to be too long so you can uh, just go through and adjust the timing as needed as you kind of preview the and you can see that uh, now that we have the transition icon will be uh, previewed as you go through those videos so then you can kind of uh, have a good idea of the timing for your video from now on so in this in this case you can see that uh, total cost for this non HD video would be it's minute and a half will be ten dollars the way that uh, system calculates it you can add and we recommend you add extra two dollars if you go uh, for broadcast users or something else um, for example for digital signage uh, if you're going to uh, be viewing it on your website you probably don't need it but if you would like your your YouTube users for example to have the option of an HD or if you'd like to keep uh, that video for later to be shown in HD then two bucks is not too much to pay for it it's really not extending hosting is um, the option to give you um, to give you your video extending ho hosting for it's not really hosting uh, but retention on our site after 10 days your rendered videos will be deleted during those 10 days you can download it previews can be kept for 30 days and uh, we're gonna talk about previews right now 